The microrotifor cell contains a number of components. The chassis is the base of the cell and houses the focusing station, which is used during separation. And the harvesting station, which collects fractions from the focusing chamber after fractionation is complete. There are two switches on the front of the chassis. To the right, the power switch controls power to the oscillating motor in the focusing station. To the left, the cooling switch controls the settings of the cooling block. There are three temperature settings, 20 degrees Celsius for applications that do not require non-denatured proteins, 10 degrees Celsius for applications that require non-denatured proteins, and off, which is not recommended because excessive overheating and damage to the unit may result. The focusing assembly consists of a focusing chamber that is attached at both ends to electric chambers that hold the electrolyte solutions and provide electrical contact between the focusing chamber and the power supply. Also included with the microrotifor are 10 and 3 mil syringes, sealing tape, cleaning brush, and assembly tool. The lid fits on top of the chassis and contains the leads that are used to connect the microrotifor cell to an external power supply. The PowerPack HV power supply is recommended. A piece of vacuum tubing extends from the back of the chassis and is used to connect the cell to an external vacuum source, which is required for harvesting. In this video, we will be using the microrotifor starter kit, which includes two 10 milliliter syringes, and a three milliliter syringe, a focusing chamber, anode and cathode electrolyte solutions that each contain two equilibrated membranes, biolite ampholytes, pH range three to 10, protein sample, and a harvesting tray. Let's take a closer look at the components of the focusing assembly. Two sets of 10 holes or ports are bored into opposite sides of the focusing chamber and are used for sample loading and harvesting. During the run, both sets of ports are sealed with sealing tape. The electrode assemblies consist of an anode, designated with a red button, and a cathode, designated with a black button. Each electrode chamber has two components an inner and an outer component that are joined together with a threaded sleeve. Before each run, make sure that on the inner component there are two O-rings, a large one on the outer side and a small one placed around the central shaft. These O-rings seal the electrolyte solution within the chamber and away from the sample within the focusing chamber. There are two types of ion exchange membrane and they are not interchangeable. The cathode membrane is in black casing and the anode membrane is in red casing. Prior to use, the ion exchange membranes must be equilibrated overnight in the appropriate electrolyte solution. In the microrotifer starter kit, the membranes are pre-equilibrated in electrolyte solution and we will use these for assembly. Note that once wetted, membranes cannot be allowed to dry. If they dry out, the membranes should be discarded. Used membranes can be stored in electrolyte solution or deionized water and can be reused for four to five runs.